Welcome back guys, so this is the second video of today, it's uh, Saturday evening by now and uh, now I hope um, we will manage to defeat Seymour. So far I had no real recipe against Seymour, so when someone was asking for advice all I could say was This foe is beyond any Or also but now I have a plan. I will use Lilith as in the last video uh, I have uploaded um, with the title Timing Out Against Seymour. Lilith is really a, a good tank to, to, go, uh, to go after Seymour with her because yeah, once she is uh, using her third skill, whenever she is using her third skill, then due to her fourth skill, she will increase her maximum health. And after a while, she's just um, yeah invincible. And um, also, her first artifact is great because it's providing magic defense and uh, two of uh, Seymour's uh, main attacks, two of uh, the three main attacks of Seymour. Um, inflict magic damage and um, whenever um, we fail to destroy the orbs or the outposts then I can activate her first artifact providing magic defense for the whole team and then they will survive <coughs> and her stats at the, in the description yeah she is the archdemon's first wife and um, then she got betrayed by by the archdemon now uh, she's very angry and um, what does it say her heart is filled with the desire for revenge and all-consuming hatreds and that's just what we need against seymour um yeah she spells trouble i kind of like her just have to make sure that she uh, doesn't turn um on our own heroes, uh, she, uh, she remembers me as uh, some kind of a monster. Uh, you can unleash her, but then it's hard to control her. <clears throat> so, let's see, what do we need here? Patronage Oliver goes to her, and then I will replace one hero. I think uh, some of you can guess uh, which hero I will use now. I didn't want to at first, but I think there is really no way past um, past Chu here. He's really a great hero against uh, Seymour, and this is mainly due to his uh, his second skill. You see, I have him only at level 66, but I say this will be enough to destroy Seymour because he's dealing some extra damage. Uh, he will deal 3.32% of um, pure damage of the enemy's current health. And so he's consistently delivering a little bit over 30 kilo um, pure damage. And Morta and Faceless are providing speed. And so he's grinding down on the health of Seymour. And when in addition to that, uh, I manage to destroy the two orbs whenever the Red Sphere is, is, um, is on then uh, there will come some damage from this also and um, I uh, think we might pass like this so he needs Fenris because now it's his turn to blind Seymour uh, at the right time so that Lilith can um, so Seymour will miss one of his uh, two attacks in the beginning on Lilith now the first attack of uh, Chu has the right timing when he blinds uh, Seymour with his first uh, basic attack, then Seymour will miss uh, the, his uh, fist attack on, on Lilith, and that's just what we need. So Fox we will leave at home, then Kira we need to destroy the orbs. Uh, I will not assign any pet to her, and uh, so we have Lilith, Oliver, and Faceless, Marta, and Chu. Let's see how this plays out. So we go with Marta, Faceless, Chu, Kira, and Lilith. Oh, 
Okay, now Seymour, now I have to go back because um, the first attack of Seymour must be a miss in order for Lilith to survive. So maybe I'll have to do a little cut here until it works. Let's try one more time with normal speed. Nope, so we go back. Okay, now. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> okay. Now you see Chu is consistently inflicting some 40 kilo damage. Now we use Lilith. And I have to activate Chu also. If not, he would die here. And here Fenris has to blind. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, now comes Kira. Marta Faceless. And Kira pretty much destroys these orbs on her own. Come on. I think this went well, right? Yeah. Okay. Now comes the attack with the claw. Excellent. Now I have Kira. And Marta Faceless. Maybe I could activate Chu also. Maybe when the 10 time damage is on, we'll do it. Will it be 10 time damage? No. Okay. Now I have to concentrate just when it starts falling. Now comes Fenris and he misses everyone. Yeah. Okay, now Kira. Now this one we have to succeed here, otherwise we will not beat him. Yeah, this is good now. Doing damage to himself now, the timing is right, yeah, he's going for Lilith. Now comes Faceless, Kira. Maybe Chu for once, and Marta. Yeah, that went well. I used Marta last, I hope. <laughs> yeah, timing is right, he's going for Lilith. Now I use Faceless. And then comes Kira and Chu. And we are waiting for Marta. Come on, Marta, come on, come on. Here I think I can use Faceless and uh, Chu, I'm not using Kira. Timing is good, yeah this is good, this is good. And now we go for Kira, Chu, Marta, Faceless. Orbs has to be destroyed, both of them. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, was this in time? Yeah, ooh, that was close. Timing is good, he's going for Lilith. Okay, Kira, Chu. And Marta, Faceless. Yeah, this is good. Okay, he's going for Lilith, or... Yeah. Faceless, Kira, Chu, Marta.
We need the next one. The next two orbs need to be destroyed. Then, then we have him. So I don't want to use anyone here. Maybe Chu. Oh, this is maybe a mistake. No, Marta is not ready. No, 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 no. Ah, this was a mistake. Kira. No, come on, Marta. Quickly, quickly. Ah, no, no, no. This will be close. Ah. Or is it, was it fast enough? Yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! This is so nice to see. Okay. So, so much for Seymour. The original idea comes from a Russian player who uploaded way back, some year ago, maybe some video where he beat uh, him with... Uh, Marta and Faceless and Chu and I think he was using Kark uh, something yeah now it works also with Kira but Chu is necessary even if it's only a 60 level 66 Chu yeah now we get the final story fragment info hmm. there was no info what is this some animation Okay, made eternal light shine in the darkness. Okay, the spawn of darkness which caused the rift between the humans and the titans was defeated by them so many years later. Deliverance in death is to light a punishment for an evil so terrible. Okay, it grants eternal life in the blessed elemental ether together with an opportunity for reincarnation endless contemplation in the bonds of the light and sphere retribution you made it humans drummers and titans congrats well played you proved ready to move on past former grievances and protect your home together farewell guardians of the dominion your path in the land of the drummers has come to an end nice so okay History, final story fragment, okay, oh and we get uh, the avatar for having defeated Seymour, that's nice, okay, but we did not see the damage chart, hmm, yeah okay, now riding this mission twice I guess, okay, Ah, uh, now enjoy this victory. Mm, do we get here? Complete chapter 15, a body of the masters. Complete your turn down three times. Complete your turn of darkness mission. Yeah, I'm so happy now. That was one of my goals to beat Seymour. And it has worked out with the 340 kilo team. Now I like this. <laughs> I'm proud, a little bit proud now. But of course, yeah, uh, without uh, the inspiration of other players who uh, managed to beat him before, I would not have uh, thought of, uh, of this combination, I think, maybe after some time. But it helps greatly when you see what other players are doing. Lilith was my idea to bring her up as a tank. And then uh, it works out just fine with Fenris. Without Fenris, uh, it would still work with uh, Lilith, but she would be uh, much stronger. Yeah, so uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, um, I will uh, continue to play. Uh, once uh, server 54 is opening, I will start with a new account there. I already gave a little preview uh, which lineup I will go for, but... I don't think I have any specific goals anymore, at least not at the moment. I defeated Seymour now. I, uh, we managed to beat Adventure 13 uh, 15 times. Okay, admittedly, we only defeated Adventure 13 when the, when the, the map, uh, when it was the map of uh, Adventure 12. That would be another aim to, uh, to beat uh, Adventure 13 when there is map 9, map 10, map 11, or um, uh, that uh, would be quite difficult. So, thanks for uh, 
watching my videos for being such a great audience uh, stay with me and uh, see you next time this is max bye um, i forgot two f two things i forgot um first uh, we exchange uh, put on the new avatar now change avatar we got this new avatar from seymour now yeah i like this one well, secondly, um, I want to uh, go through the heroes I used, so you can do some um, some analysis if you want to. So we used uh, with whom do we start? With mm, Lilith. Just quickly going through all the tabs. Glyphs. Almost a full circle, Gift of the Elements, Zira mainly worked on her first artifact, providing magic defense, which is necessary for this game plan. Uh, yeah, Oliver, we'll uh, go to the details of Oliver afterwards also. Then we go to Kira, main damage dealer in my team. Maxed out armor, penetration skin, winter skin, providing armor penetration. Then uh, Chu, we will have a look at last, maybe you know, go to Marta. Faceless. Yes, and then we have a look at Chu. Only at level 66, but his level depending um, second skill is already quite high. And when you have it uh, at the maximum level, 130, the extra damage will go up to 4.6%, a little bit more, but it's already quite high here. Especially when you have uh, an adversary who has so much health as Seymour has then this uh, second skill of Chu really matters. He's also good against other bosses who have a lot of health, like Kornok in uh, Chapter 14, or also uh, Shavarak in Chapter 13, I would say. Skin-wise, I, I worked a little bit on his uh, default skin and just gave him two levels of the armor penetration, but this doesn't really not matter because uh, his second skill is providing pure damage, so he doesn't need armor penetration for this. Stats, items, glyphs, I uh, just worked on his uh, main stat, gift of the elements, the beginning uh, with the circle, and here I just randomly uh, leveled up a little bit. Yeah, Fenris, this was important that we have a Violet Fenris attached to him, assigned to him. Let's just quickly have a look at uh, Oliver and, uh, and Fenris also. Here we can uh, see the skills, the items, patronage stats, yeah. And the other pet I used was Oliver. So he's really quite a baby Oliver, but already in blue rank, so he's adding this decisive extra armor to Lilith and health. So that was it. Uh, stay with me, bear with me. See you next time. Bye.